Listen in the reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, uh. You're listening to Reset Race, you're now tuned in the Reset Race. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Back on the grill again, we grilling them. Uh, you're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh, you're tuned in the Reset Race, we no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to Reset Race, we focused on our justice claim, we know what is at stake, uh, you tuned in to Reset Race, you'll find out who really done justice and really who fake, on the edge, go back to U.S. Southern plantations, Penny is Jim Crow and mass incarceration, redlining and lynchings, we are old from this nation, you're not about justice if you ain't for reparations, MG the wise one, cousin mother intellectual, Samantha bringing fire, anti-black, we pressing you, no permanent friends and no permanent Enemies, the backbone of the country, the way you need our energy. Ah. Go on, see. Listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in the Reset Race. Uh, uh. You're listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in the Reset Race. Uh, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them, back on the grill again. We grilling them. Uh. You're listening to Reset Race. Adults need reparations to make America make great. America uh, great. You're tuned in to Reset Race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to Reset Race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you're tuned in to Reset Race. You'll find out who really about justice and really who fake. Uh, Welcome to Reset. Well, hopefully, welcome back to Reset Race, where we t- where we discuss race, ethnicity, and tr- and tribe and and nationality. We discuss all this stuff because America is stupid about this stuff, right? And people take advantage of us because we're stupid about this stuff. We were just, uh, in a in the uh, in the green room. We were just discussing how how people take advantage of our ignorance on uh, on how international uh, how international affairs work and how. Uh, how people are functioning in their own country, right? Because we think we we get caught up in the bullshit of yeah, we're all together, we are all one. But back in your home country, you're not all one. So why are we like that here? Anyway, <laughs> welcome to read out Michael Graham from Magnify Press, and um, we're going to go down the list. Our panel here, uh, we're going to go down. We're going to go down the line here. Our panel, and we're going to start with ladies first. That's how we get down. I've been drinking. Uh, oh my goodness, go. hilarious! <laughs> Sam, talk to a baby. So what's up, y'all? Bad way. Oh Lord, Jesus! I know, right? Oh my God, I hate I. <laughs> I fucking hate I I fucking hate this world and I get it like I understand some things are better like I'm glad that people can't use some words with some of this shit Mm -hmm. (sighs) y'all make me sick so um you can find me at me 17 trillion on twitter when I feel like being on the clubhouse I'm at me 27 trillion at the clubhouse we got resetrace.org coming soon and um yeah you know i'm looking forward to it like i said we'll see what what they gotta say about this um i guess this is from a while back though so okay cool whatever yeah Yeah, and uh Mm -hmm. fun fun in the sun so go ahead who's up next john talk to him baby what's up everybody it's john c uh you can follow me on twitter at john daniel t give a fuck as usual i'm just here Happy to be here with my people who's about to go back to the grill, get Sam Cedar. We've been trying to get Sam Cedar for a little while. And we found a video. We had to dig it up. We had to dig it up at the archives, but we got one. And we <laughs> it so happy to be here with my family. That's, that's, that's what we do. Fuck it. You know. Matt, thanks, John. Mud, last but not least, talk to him, Mud. Yeah, they call me Mud. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. At of lineage, um, I also have Beta Dose TV, and you're gonna probably see them on the network. So I don't need to say that anymore. Beta Dose TV is back. Oh. Get Beta Dose TV. Get Beta Dose TV. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. That's Facts. why I'm out of control. If you want to be out of control like me, <laughs> watch me some Beta Dose TV. See them on that They don't love me on social media, right? So especially Twitter, because people keep reporting me. We won't go into that right now. Um, but on, I'm on the clubhouse, 
Actify MG underscore RR. Like I love the race. Actify I'll MG underscore RR with all my three followers. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him and make sure y'all check out actifypress.com. Man. And there you go. That's where you find my writing. Shit. Org and reset, reset race .org .com. Follow everything. Follow so, everything. That's right, guys. Nigga, uh, nigga, and I don't got nothing for you to follow, but nigga, I'll, if I see you in the hood, I'll buy you a bid. So let's go. Let's do it. Facts. All right. So now we're going into this is a uh, this is a majority report majority report with Sam Cedar. Uh, this is a this is an old one uh, from from majority report with Sam Cedar talking about reparations in the Democratic primary. Um, this is where they're trying to cover Bernie's ass for being anti-black and anti-reparations, anti-justice at the end of the day. So uh, for those of you that that are familiar with Michael Brooks. Um, Michael Brooks is no longer with us. He has passed on. He has transitioned on to the rest in peace. Rest in peace. Right. He's in this video. We're going to cook his ass, too. It is what it is. Right. This is about my people. <laughs> yeah. I wish him the best. I mean, I wish his people the best. Well, I'm not yeah. trying to shit on his memory. But the fact the facts are the facts. If we get if he gets cooked up in here, he just gets cooked up. And right? you're a public person. You were yeah, a public, a public person. person. Is what, no, it it is, is what it is. Hoping like, ain't I'm nobody going out here about me. Ain't nobody, yeah. Alive. Exactly. Ain't so. nobody going out here, you know, digging up and kicking regular, you know, regular people. You as a public persona. So, all right, we ready? Mm -hmm. That's right. And Whoa, if you man. sense it, and if you sensitive, you know, go cry Turn in our away. fucking yeah. comments like if you know. If you sensitive, you got no business on it on reset. Right? No, just <laughs> cry in our comments like you normally do. Yeah, exactly. I'll put you back in cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Joe Biden. <laughs> and I like you too, but I was that was some Joe Biden ass shit. You, yeah, you need to you need to sit down and rewrite fragility. That was a microaggression, like that was a master aggression. That was a but macro okay. aggression. <laughs> like, yeah, you these folks be wild. Like, yeah, y'all love to threaten black people. Like, mm. white people love to threaten black people, and y'all don't even realize you're threatening us. Yep. We get that all, every, everything to put us back in our place without giving us redress. Back in yeah. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>2Dope Boys in a podcast. And I, yeah, he should be on the list. Yeah. All right. Appreciate the call. Well, let me, I'll, I'll answer the question about the reparations. I mean, because from my perspective, um, I, I think the, 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 the term itself is obviously uh, a little bit loaded in the context of, of American politics. Was it loaded? Was it loaded when Obama gave Jews 12, when Obama earmarked that $12 million for Jewish families? Or was it loaded when the Japanese got it? Or was it loaded when y'all tried to give it to the Native Americans and some of them took it and some of them told you to go fuck yourselves? Y'all people be showing, y'all, y'all, y'all slips is showing mm -hmm. or y'all hoods, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Y'all robes is showing. At the end of the day, Sam, all this shit is we're going to bend the knee to white supremacy on the left, just like everybody else. We're not going to fight for you, Negroes. We're not going to fight for your rights. We're not going to fight for your uh, your independence. We're not going to fight for your um, your self-determination. We're not going to fight for the harms that were done to you. Just fucking deal with it. We're better than the Democrats. Just barely. And it's the same shit at the end of the day. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. What y'all got? What you got? Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Like, uh, it's only uh, loaded because it's dealing with us. Like, I, I think they 
pay reparations recently or they plan to play reparations to like some of the islands or like New Guinea or something like that. Like it's it's crazy how like they could do this shit on the low when it's for other groups. And it's like motherfuckers act like it wasn't even a big deal. But when it comes to doing anything for us, it's just going to cause chaos in the end of America as the we world's know. World's coming to an end. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, all- because God for God forget. God forbid black people like not be out here like fucking destitute. Like God forbid us be stable and actually be able to compete on a real level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's at the end of the day, that's all it is, right? Because you know the left is supposed to be different. Again, this was you know I used to be a a curated voice on the left, you know, and <clears throat> we, we the left is supposed to be different. But at the end of the day, it's not. It's not, and it, and it is what it is. John, what you got, man? Yeah, I agree with the shit. Funny, it's like Sam Cedar's like, first of all, this is a loaded question because <laughs> you're dealing with Negroes. You're, dealing with yeah. y- you're talking about giving Negroes something, and I, I wanted to win the election. So it's like, so it's just like the whole shit, the whole fucking excuse they make is that like, if you focus on black people issues, you can't win elections, but yet you need us. To win election, you know, so, so. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, we should just check out of the whole process. I guess that's why, again, I keep saying, like, I don't believe that politics is necessarily the way. Like, I believe we got to organize people and have a general strike because the way that all these people, especially these white people who are the talking heads who are representing the progressive culture, y'all don't give a fuck about black people, and y'all gonna leave us fucked up. So mm-hmm. if we're going to be fucked up, like a lot of people are waking up. We're like, well, if you're going to screw us, we're going to screw you too. Like I'll happily watch you be poor and destitute. Mm-hmm. Join the club. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right, well, well, come on, family. Come on. Then you can play like how we play. You got to find an escape hatch like we got to find an mm-hmm. escape hatch. Yeah. And also Hunger let's be, Games. Facts. Also, let's be clear. Reparations has been part of, uh, I wrote about this in an article called What Are Reparations on Active 5 Press. Reparations have been part of um, human interactions since the beginning of time. If you harm me, you repair what you harmed. You fix what the fuck you broke. This is everyday shit. Insurance, right? Insurance is about fixing what the fuck you broke. My insurance fixes the shit I broke. It's simple shit. This is basic this is this is humanity 101. This is human interaction 101. If I slap you in the face without provocation, I'm fucking wrong. I need to make up for it or just take this ass whooping like a man. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Justice, bro. You know what I mean? Justice. Yeah. Thank you, John. Justice, you know Go ahead, John. Continue. Can you it's finish, good. John? It's balance. It's justice. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you beat my ass. like you always tell me like real like you always say like you said on a, a, a whole bunch of, like a lot of shows how like somebody hit you over the head with a rock. One of the shows you said somebody hit you over the head with a rock. I can't take care of my family no more. You feel me? Like it's yep, your yep, responsibility it's your, now. Yeah, it's your responsibility to take care of my take family. Care. Word up and make sure I'm good too because you hit Absolutely. me over the head with a fucking rock and I ain't and I ain't had nothing to do with that. You chose to do that shit. And that yep. was like you hit with the head with a rock, right? That was like, oh, uh, y'all are yep. all right, because you hit, but you can't move your arm now. And you just <laughs> a little bit. But, exactly. like, you, can still, you can still be a cashier, though, so it's better now. And I ain't going to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, nah, nigga, you hit me over there. You fuck my whole shit up. You fuck everything <laughs> up. So, yep, nah. I can't take care of my family. You need to, you need to make up for that. Now, That's like, your, your responsibility. Your whole left side work, though. Your whole left side work. You can be a cashier and <laughs> pick up the phone and stuff. <laughs> I ain't like you two over the head with a rock in 10 years. See? Look. look, look. <laughs> We all good. Like, yeah, look at everybody else that got hit in the head with a rock. <laughs> well, look at him. Look at him, Boogu. Boogu, all right. Why you, why you hurting Jerome? Why you mad? Look at him, Boogu. Well, they just say shit. They just say wild shit. Like, they, they just do wild shit to us, man. Damn John. That's a loaded question. Come on. You know why. That's Facts. all I got. That's all I got, man. I got Facts. You. John, which, I mean, Mud, what you got? Yo, know, I just wanted to build on this uh, idea that you brought up about uh, like comparing reparations to insurance, mm-hmm. like really, that's a way to argue about American citizenship. Like, base it around this idea that if you're harmed by your government, it's an insurance policy. Like, you will yep. be repaired, and yep. that's the that's the true value of American citizenship. That's that that is awesome. Damn that damn. Real shit. Damn mud. 
I'm glad I'm glad I actually would be on this goddamn show. <laughs> As I smoothly take credit for everything. But <laughs> go ahead. Uh Sam, thank you, bud. No, I'm good. Let's let's play some more. Let's see what else what other BS is about to come out this full now. This was only five minutes. We can't have no fun, Sam. God damn it. What else you gotta <laughs> say? I'll fuck with you, Sam. Go ahead. Go ahead Sam. I like what else you gotta say. Like I said, they just be mealy mouth. Like mm-hmm. Right, it's a so loaded question. Next thing he's gonna say is it'll hurt race relations, and you think white people will be happy about it? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, white supremacy wins again. Yeah, you, you, you want us to come and take that money back, nigger? Like, come on, <laughs> exactly. for real. Like, I'm just saying, like, that, this, like that's what... yo. <laughs> like for real like we're not gonna give you no money because these white people over here are gonna come and take that shit back mm-hmm. so to save you from white people hating you even more than we already do now we're mm-hmm. gonna leave you broken destitute so white people won't hate you huh wonderful and then white people are wonderful white people huh? on the left are wonderful I you know cannot <laughs> listen I know there's good white people out here but Absolutely. the people no who question. are on TV on the left y'all are not them Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't no, it. Not at all. I not mean, at all. YouTube, all most of your faves ain't it. Mm-hmm. Even I think the best of your faves is still not good enough. And I think the best of your faves for the white folk, for the wheat folk, is Jordan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. even him, he still don't go far enough. Yeah, jo- Jordan get the stimming and stuttering and hemming and high <laughs> when you talk about reparations. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's a good it. policy, but don't tell nobody I said that. But yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, I respect. I was. I respect Jordan because Jordan, oh, yeah. Jordan came to the hood. Jordan, I, like, Jordan I said Jordan I is the, the best yeah. of what they got, and he still don't go far enough. I'll he go Jordan go. and then no. Jimmy, and after mm-hmm. that, everybody else can pretty much. Mm-hmm. They weak sauce. Yeah, kick Jordan. rocks. I was gonna say something Jordan. else, but you know, people don't like those kind of words. I, so. I see. Cause I see George Sheraton. He came to North when North was drinking dirty water. He was on the street. Mm-hmm. Now, I know. He was a like say he's a, and with some Negroes. I was like, oh, the shit. work that he did with South Bend was really good too. Like I said, yeah, but yeah. when him and but when he was still kind of gonna push Joe Biden, him and I had a little spat on Twitter, and he yeah. was like, "Well, Man, he was like, you. well." He was like, well, black people, well, Joe Biden was lying to black people about his civil rights record. And I was like, and Bernie wouldn't have pushed, wasn't endorsing reparations. So even if Joe Biden was lying, if Bernie would have pushed reparations, people would have been flying into South Carolina to talk to their grannies and parents. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you know how I ask you for money every month? You want that shit to stop? Reparations. <laughs> exactly. 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 But you didn't give nobody no incentive to do that kind of... You didn't give black people an incentive to do groundwork for Bernie. Mm-hmm. And you wasn't going to pay black people to do it. So you needed mm-hmm. that free energy and you wasn't getting no more free Negro labor. Yeah, Sam, you brought up a good point, man. I, I think we, we have like a Mount Rushmore for lefty f- for folks on the left. And I think for me, man, the top three... Well, not really Mount Rushmore. Oh, Graham Elwood's three. pretty decent too. He can be in my top three. Okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. I was gonna put Tim Black in my top three, but Graham Elwood is he's, he's fighting for a spot for sure. Tim for Black sure. does not count because he just got on the Negro train. He got to prove that's himself true. longer, that's true. That's and he's true. still establishment. Like he has mm-hmm. his moments of trying to be mm-hmm. a free Negro, and then they turn him right back onto that plantation. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know how I am, man. He, 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 you know where I am on this. This is the, I'm transparent on this. Then dogs start coming and yipping at his ass. He's like, it'd be easier just to go back to the plantation. Yeah. Like, fuck this, fuck this not, free yo, nigga yo, shit. Yo, yo, <laughs> the but he, but again, again yeah. he did jeopardize his shit by having Darity on. You know what I mean? So uh, jeopardize, when I say jeopardize his shit by having Darity on, because Darity got caught up in some bullshit. We won't go into those details. But uh, <clears throat> Darity is a scholar. Uh, and a gentleman, right? And he is a, out. And his and his book is a master is a masterpiece. And he got caught up in some bullshit uh, with some folks. We ain't, again, we're not going into that. But uh, and but what's his name? Uh, 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 Tim. He he took a chance and said, "Okay, I'm gonna give this Negro a chance," and he did. Right. So it is what it is. My book, anyway. That's my book. <laughs> I'm I mean, old, you know, personally, they not edgy. You not know, personally. When I was on like, like me, even when I really started shifting over to, you know, what I mean, like to, to the ADOS work, and you feel know I me, mean? like, and really focusing, centering my energy, 
on my people and getting away from that left wing bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like for real, I always felt like Tim Black was the blackest voice on the left because mm-hmm. it's because I, I go off energy and how I, you, you feel me like real shit. Yeah. I go off energy. Ben Dixon, you feel me like remember that Ben Dixon in them? The energy wasn't real, like, like yeah, it wasn't yeah, real. That was like, a phony like, shit. I know yeah, that. I, I know yeah. that he that, really that, mo- sudden, that, that sudden uh, that sudden allegiance to reparations was wild to me. What? Where the fuck you niggas been? <laughs> no, let me tell you. Let, <laughs> hey, hey, no. y'all, y'all. That video had me jail time mad. Jail time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jail time mad. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We ain't gonna give it to it. We ain't gonna give it to it. We ain't gonna, give it. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna do it right now. We gotta get serious. We ain't gonna do it right now. But like, we, ain't gonna, we gonna get. We gonna do it. Right. We can do That's it. Cold, like, That's cold, Sam. That's cold. Jail time, man. Niggas. Yeah. Right. Hey, ice. bud, you good? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. I don't fuck with none of them though. I'm just a <laughs> Man, I'm here like I don't fuck with you. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm told because the mother don't give a fuck. Hey, hey, y'all have too much fun in this goddamn show. Cut that shit out. Hey, hey, nah, but nah, but nah. But I was trying to say, don't play about Tim Black. Like, I knew, I knew he was doing some bullshit. Like, I'm like, you doing some bullshit? You gotta wake up, bro. And I think he got his. I guess. I mean, Can we? A few times, but I mean, now I feel like he really got his wake up call now. Like, he was telling him, like, bro, you're doing some bullshit. Like, I've seen it, but I know I'm like, yo, I can't really fuck with you like that. But I, all right, come on, mm-hmm. bro. Then he did this shit. I'm like, ah, man. I think that was probably one of the final strikes for me, like, with, with this recent shit with the squad and all that shit. But, you know, it's what it, it is. is. You keep a job, I guess. It, it is what it That's is. That's it. You know, he got to feed them black babies. So yep. let's yeah, keep man. going. All right. <laughs> for sure. Why uh, people in the Democratic primary want to avoid <clears throat> using that term? I think that's why uh, you know Bernie doesn't want to use it. I don't know to what extent any of the other candidates want to use it. Um, I I do think that there are specific proposals, though, that I think you could support um, and talk Name about. One them. White I mean, man. I guess you know. I don't know. It's a good question because I think on some level you could have proposals. <laughs> that would address the need for reparations. Um, There's also uh, perhaps maybe a, um, a, a more sort of like, I don't want to say psychological, but sociological need to indicate that we are, uh, that, that, um, um, that reparations are due. Um, But certainly at the end of the day, I am more, you know, sort of, I think the idea of specific proposals that address things like wealth disparity and let's face it, these reparations addresses wealth disparity. There are reparations Mm -hmm. for uh, slavery, but there should also be reparations for things like redlining. I mean, and, and, the, well, that's, and also, that's part of our reparations claim. The Native American mm-hmm. genocide as well. But well, yes. I, yeah, but, yes, but, I'm, but my, point being, my point being is that we're not just talking people. about things. Why do y'all keep doing this? Native Americans have, they are sovereign people. They have their own treaties. Like Mud has already said in previous videos, the United States came to them, tried to pay them some money. Some people took their blood money and some people told America to go fuck themselves and that they want their land and they want to be sovereign. So Mm -hmm. you white people, it's not up to you white people to tell Native Americans what they deserve or do not deserve. And it's not for you to pigeonhole Native Americans into our shit. Because if you want to, how about this? So when we're talking about reparations, you want to start talking about Native Americans needing to be part of our reparations. How about you tell Native Americans that they need to let their black people get their fucking benefits from the tribes that they're expelling? How about that, motherfuckers? How about that? Uh, How about that, white man? Tired of you white people. uh, Not all white people. I love, I I, I got a couple friends, but most of y'all motherfuckers, I swear to God, like y'all can eat shoe leather and die for all I care. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Yeah, <clears throat> it's about policy. It's about policy at the end of the day. If you're not and talking about repairing want- my people, you can kick my you can kiss my black ass. And that's what it really is. He was like, "Oh, I would like some stuff through policy." So you gonna give us some free health care and some solar panels in the hood and tell us to shut the fuck up? Like y'all <laughs> yeah. be saying. That's what you're going for real. That's like a movie title, Soul Panels in the Hood. That's the title. Yeah. <laughs> solar title. panels in the hood and shut the fuck up. That's the mixtape, nigga. Solar panels in the hood. <laughs> 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 we're gonna put solar panels in the hood. Fire. 
<laughs> or you gonna put solar panels in the hood so yo so your fucking electric bill can go from a hundred dollars to twenty five dollars so you can afford to keep living in the shitty ass hood if it actually have power. <laughs> <laughs> you still gonna have them holes in the floor. You still gonna be yeah. with rats and roaches. <laughs> but you know you got solar panels and fucking health care. You're welcome, <laughs> bitches. Yeah, and speaking of healthcare, <laughs> Medicare for all. I'm a, I'm a proponent of Medicare for all, but let's be real. Me too. Medicare for all. Is, Medicare is like the bottom of the barrel. Let's be real about that. And you see how AOC does switch from talking about Medicare for all to a public option. Oh, she she Ooh. did. She sw- Oh, she Ooh. flipped like that. She already switched. Yeah, oh, that's the my God, thing. God, she is flat she on her Charlie back. Brown shit yeah. when Lucy would hold the football. This bitch out here playing games. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that shit, that shit is hilarious. People were hanging their hopes and dreams on AOC. Fuck oh, her! I saw nah. through that phony, that phony. What is black? I must Who say, is man. Black, and then a year later, we're all black. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, when I see AOC coming down the pipe, when I see, when I was like, I see, that's, that's when I was in Bernie World mode. I'm like, yeah, you know, I live in Bernie. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Sucker. <laughs> Exactly, sucker. I was a sucker. Go ahead drink this sucker juice. I ain't think she look that good. I ain't think she look that good. What the fuck you mean? I ain't think she look that good. What the fuck you talking about, fam? I'm just like, I'm like, sucker like, juice. It's like, it's like, it's like, I'm like, all right, yay. Say that old June oh. juice, I'm going to sell sucker juice. <laughs> That's cold, Sam. But what you got, man? But now, but tell, but now, once I started seeing this, uh, seeing it, I'm like, I'm like, oh, she on some bullshit. Like, I, I, ain't gonna, yeah. I was like, oh, hey. it took me a minute too, and, and, and yeah. no, no shame, John. No I ain't shame. Gonna, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, but I was like, man, now like that shit just blatantly obvious. Like she against that whole interest, like, and she against the left wing, the whole they whole shit. So, it's yeah, yeah, good. she was a she was a great white hope, a great beige hope. Now that's know? a great white hope. That's a whole white woman. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Great white, yeah. She was a great white hope for the left man. She a white Latina. She a white Latina. Yeah, Mm -hmm. but now they're like that's a whole white. They're like a half a shade away from the uh, from the establishment, man. Like she can get in there. Half a shade. Shit, I don't see no difference. The fuck, (laughs) that shit look the same. Yeah, for us is this zero difference. For us is zero. That shit. But Sam, you seen a couple. But Sam, you seen it coming back then when you was when you was a lefty lefty. You seen it coming like that? Or saw her. I saw her coming off rip. Because I caught that shit with Tiny Heesey Coates when she said mm-hmm. that shit pretty early on. And when she was pulling that Jenny from the block routine on the fucking Breakfast Club. Nah, like. I, <laughs> Jenny from the block routine. <laughs> I'm still Jenny from the block. So I, I sniffed her early. I, like I sniffed her early. <laughs> but you got to remember, my dad's second wife was a white Latina. That's the first person to ever call me a nigga. I know an anti black fucking Latina when I see one. There it is. Mm. There there it is. Wow. My spirit was like, mm mm. Mm-hmm. So, hey, yo, cousin, cousin Mud, what's up, though? Cousin Mud? Yeah, what's yeah. Up? I mean, I, I, like, if he wants to play word games with the reparations, but still give us the money, uh, fuck it. But, like, <laughs> it, it, it is, they're going to call it reparations, whatever you try to, like, rename it. Like, so why, why play mm-hmm. games? Just, just give us the fucking money. <laughs> like, That's it. Yeah. Pay me. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Fuck that, pay me. All right, let's rock. Let's rock it out. Give us a little bit more of the bull. It happened 250 years ago uh, or 150 years ago. We're talking about things that happened 50 years ago, 30 years ago. I mean, these are, uh, uh, we've had a systemic disenfranchising of political power in this country, uh, particularly of black Americans uh, and obviously in Native Americans, but also a- an economic one. And, um, and, and not, not just a function of discrimination as we experience it, uh, socially, but in terms of just plain old finances. So this is my thing, right? He's about to do the whole, let me describe all the problems that happen to black people and then let me fucking do the fucking uh, mental gymnastics to explain why we shouldn't pay black American shit. We should just do some class bullshit. I have a feeling. You should be correct. Because that, that's about where we're about to go. Because this is what all you white people do. 
you sit here and you explain to us what the problem is, which we already know what it is because we spent the past 20, 30 years explaining it to you stupid motherfuckers. And then, <laughs> no, for real. And then you sit here and tell us what the problem is. And then you tell us how you're going to fix everybody. And that's magically going to fix us. Like as if it has throughout all the other years when you've done that shit. Like, I don't know if y'all are stupid or you just want me to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think the the left does this shit all the time, right? You know, part of it is we were kind of conditioned by the Democrats uh, to if just because you mention our plight, therefore you are on our side. You know, acknowledgement I mean? is not like, advocacy. A mm -hmm. Amen. I love that phrase, Sam. Put that on the shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. acknowledgement is That's not good. advocacy. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna do that when we get the website up. We gonna say anyway. I'm, 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 I'm gonna spray paint my own shirt and just write with a magic marker. <laughs> you know, I have, I have, I have one of those things. Like I can I can silk screen my own shirts and shit. No, nah, I, I used to always come on with a saying that white girl in my class yeah, like, "Hey, always have shit, a right? saying." Yep. Mm -hmm. Acknowledgement is acknowledgement is not advocacy. That's, that's Absolutely, not mm -hmm. but but you know that was that that was and is what the Democratic Party does. Like Joe Biden was talking about, I'm the one that said that COVID was killing black people more than anybody. <laughs> yeah, like like, 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 that, like that put like that yeah. put money in our pockets and like yeah. that helped Ooh, us from having cool. our grandkids exactly. and fucking grandfathers die and shit. Exactly, like, and and the the left has out of here, Joe Biden. And the left has adopted that that um that what's the phrase? What's the word I'm looking for? That um so activism. Yeah, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> they That's they've strategy. adopted this this way of doing this way of doing things and to act like they're helping us when they really aren't. And, and nah, to the, they keep their boots on our neck. I live in yeah. California. This is a democratic state, and it's all fucked up for mm -hmm. black people. Yeah, the here. bluest state in the goddamn country. Still fucking black folks over. Still doing. West Virginia is a little bit bluer, but yeah, they both got mm -hmm. their boots on our neck, bro. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Home ownership is the primary driver of wealth in this country, and time and time again, the ability of African Americans to develop wealth through their homes has been limited. So is he going to talk about the fact that we can't build wealth through our homes is even when we buy homes, they don't appreciate unless we live by white people. Y'all got to come and gentrify our neighborhood for our house to be worth something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, that, if you live in a black neighborhood, that shit don't appreciate. Mm -mm, sure don't. And hey, you got to be the last motherfucker to hold out. You got to be the last mm -hmm. motherfucker out to really cash in. Yep. Real yep. talk. Yeah, when they get to the point of violence, that's when you're going to be the last motherfucker out there. Yep. No, nah, they'll gentrify your shit and not. Yeah, they'll just call the police on you. So that is. A yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they'll get to the. Yeah, that's when they get down to the last few motherfuckers. Just letting you know. Just letting you know, though. Sam C. and Mike Brooks is trying to turn reparations into mortgage loans. <laughs> they trying to turn reparations into mortgage loans that is going to into predatory <laughs> loans. <laughs> and we can't <laughs> afford to live in most of these cities yeah. that we still live in. Mm -hmm. So we have to go like buy land in the south. And then these fuckers, when they fuck up the city again, they going to run back to the suburbs and the woods and push us out again, and we going to be running yeah. again. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's our life. But reparations have changed that, but go ahead. Let's play some more. We're almost done with this shit. Limited, actively limited, not just by uh, by the private sector, but by, by, by government, by, by the government. I, I think... I just can I just I agree with everything. I just want to throw a few other important things about this in really quickly. So one, everybody basically like Bernie uh, can and should improve his answer, but he's actually being relatively honest about this. People like Castro and Harris and Warren are just lying. They don't like reparations politically means I think it's H.R. 40 which Tulsi Gabbard is a co-sponsor of, and it's a specific piece of legislation in the House to establish a commission and a process by which that can happen. So there's one candidate that supports that. Everybody else is being totally disingenuous or outright dishonest. And I think the really big problem, too, is that like if you go back to Barack Obama in like 2015, he dismissed reparations like totally outright. Right. And then he pivoted to well, but if you deal with these systems problems, they'll have a disproportionate effect on race, which is actually what Bernie said in 2016, which was insufficient then and insufficient now. But the incredible thing is that that's literally what Harris and Warren and Castro are doing, is they say, 
they're giving the exact same answer that Obama gave, but then saying they support reparations. So my actual real irritation here, in addition to the disingenuousness of the. All right. So this goes back to around this. This is this is a, a relatively old video, right? It's from 2019, I think. Um, this was around. This was around the time the ADOS was popping, right? And they were actively shunning. The left was actively shunning us, and well, shunning the, the the ADOS movement. They were actively smearing the ADOS movement. Um, I wrote about this. Uh, what was the name of that article? Uh, check on ActifyPress.com. Smearing black activism. That's what it was, right? They were actively smearing this movement because they were scared that Bernie was going to get burned by it, right? Because Bernie didn't want to give, didn't want to fight for reparations, right? So <clears throat> we have to be honest about that, right? The left was act if, if the left had just listened to the arguments that they were smearing, they would have answers for this. But they chose not to. They chose not to serve black people because they were too busy fighting for a better piece of the white vote, of the white, of the white quote unquote white working class vote. That's all the fuck they cared about. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Mud, what you got? Yeah, I mean, that's it. I don't like, I don't know where they're going to end up with this shit because it seems like they're building up, building up just to hit us with some bullshit at the end. Um, <laughs> Always. Yeah. I mean, like he's making some valid points about how the rest are being disingenuous, but Bernie is being disingenuous too. Like, like yeah. honestly, there isn't an argument against reparations. Cut the shit. If you're mm -hmm. if you're really like leftist, like you you should stop bullshitting us and just get on our side and support us. And that's the key, Mud. There is no there is no argument against reparations. There's no political argument. There's no moral argument. There's no economic argument. None of those arguments mean a, a they they amount to a hill of beans. Other than, unless you are you know, seeing it through the lens of white supremacy, it's the only way, right? John, what you got, man? Yeah, I'm, cousin Mud, right? Y'all, y'all, right? I mean, Mike Brooks, <laughs> Mike Brooks, go speaking to us from. I'm like, damn, man, I know you did, but you, hey, you know what? I talked to spirits. I'm talking to your spirit right now, Mike Brooks. You talking some bullshit when you was here about black people. Like, what you just did right here is that you compared Bernie Sanders' response to Obama response as, as saying like Obama said it so. So I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Like, I thought the left was supposed to be everything Obama. Y'all hate Obama, right? Y'all yeah. hate Obama. Nah, they right? use Obama as cover, and that's why this post-racial shit is some bullshit, and that's why these doppelgangers are a problem. So you'd be like, well, Barack Obama wasn't for reparations. Well, Barack Obama doesn't descend from a, from well, United enough. States shadow slavery. He no. descends from a white woman, and he descends from a Kenyan man who came from Kenya, who came here to go to a fucking An elite school. Thank you. Ivy League, okay, in the 60s. Yep. So miss me with all the bullshit you talking about. Y'all are full of shit. It was like the 50s, right? Whatever. But y'all are Whatever. full of shit. And, um, you know, it's just basically like how Mitch McConnell, what Sam, what uh, what Michael Brooks did is the same shit that Mitch McConnell did when he said, well, like Barack Obama as a descendant of slave owners, I don't believe in reparations. You did the same shit, but you're supposed to be the left, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to kick a corpse too much, but it <laughs> is what it is. Yeah, facts. Yeah. I'm about to say the same shit. I'm like, yo, so Bernie, so you got the same response, you feel me, for reparations that the right wing do. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. And yeah, all the boils all all other... boils down to the same response. All their yep. responses are 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 uh virtue signaling equivalents to the right wing responses. All their mm -hmm. responses. Every Good. last one of them. If you dust off that 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 uh if you wipe off that fucking virtue signaling, it's the same, it's the exact same response that the right wingers do. Every fucking time. <laughs> you know, excuse my Sam. That was not me. <laughs> Chicken wings getting to them wings, nigga. The wings when you the get wings got it, didn't it? <laughs> nah, it's that plantation rum, y'all. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got to take blame uh -huh. for that. I finally got it to you. See that? I yeah, finally man. got it to you. John and MG got me. Got me. Uh, got me. I feel like fucking Jack Sparrow in this bitch. <laughs> I'm stocked up. <laughs> stocked up. Back. Hey, we here to help. We family. We family. We definitely here to help. Mm -hmm. Dysfunctional as fuck, but we family. Uh, Mud, you got anything else? Nah, I'm good. All right. Let's Sam, you it. good? Mm-hmm. Nah, let's keep it pushing. Finish him. Yeah. 
reaction to the disingenuousness of the politics towards Bernie is I think you're undermining both arguments because you do not want to create a frame around programs like Medicare for All that they're a form of reparations because they are not. They are universal programs, period. And then on the other hand, you don't want to undermine a very specific case about historical injustice of African Americans as a universal program. So that's a, and, and the last thing I'll add is I think David Brooks coming out and supporting reparations as a form of collective psychological acceptance is an indication of how dematerialized these conversations can get that we should be aware of. Yeah, right wing, here we go again. <laughs> right wingers, it's a right wing. materialized. What the fuck is he? What the fuck? Did, what did he mean? Hey, well, you know what? He's basically well, saying like cause... when they when they be talk about reparations, like as an apology. He he means when people be saying bullshit, like we should have an apology and call it a day. We're gonna yeah. tell you that we're sorry, and you should go shut the fuck up. Whatever. Uh, that's what he meant. I mean, yeah, are we gonna have like a South African uh, commission? Uh, <laughs> oh, all yeah. the Truth wrongs. and reconciliation bullshit. That yeah. they, they got them nowhere. Oh, no. that's what he's alluding yeah. to. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. that goofy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that if you have truth and reconciliation as you sign checks, okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah, with you. Like, but you need some material change to go along with that, right? Because what truth and reconciliation was supposed to do was supposed to change hearts and minds across across South South Africa in order to in order to facilitate economic change. That's what yeah. the quote unquote plan was, but it didn't happen. White folks still own most of the arable land. It is what it is. It is right. what it is. We cannot use somebody else's model to handle reparations in this country. Sandy Darity gave us a model. Let's run with that one. Right, in my opinion, that's what I feel about it. I know other others feel differently, but I'm with Dr. Darity. I'm running with that one. All right, I'm with Sam, the German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thomas that Kramer. Yeah, Thomas Kramer came with some heat, but Thomas Kramer. I can't deny that. I need yeah. to throw it out. You need to throw it. People like get this all in. I did calculations. They all yeah. need a trillion dollars. For 10 what? years, a trillion dollars, every one of them. I said, oh, shit, he's wilding. <laughs> <laughs> but Thomas Kramer, but Thomas Kramer he, he got a better number than Dr. Darity for sure. But we plug in his number to Dr. Darity's plan, we got yeah, a winner. Yeah. Winner, winning yeah. chicken dinner like a motherfucker. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the, end of the, that's the end of the video. Anybody got any final thoughts, Mud? Oh, uh, shit, I thought I had something to say, but I can't quite remember it. I mean, it's just... Look, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I was going to say. Yeah, uh, fuck all this bullshit. We want our paper. That's it. Facts. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. all. That's all. The, that's the only conversation we need to have. We don't mm -hmm. need to be having all these weird conversations where we try to uh, uh, see who could be the best uh, academic uh, scholar about the whole fuck you, we aren't paying you black people shit. Like, we need to get to, <laughs> we, we need to, get to the point of we just, we just gonna get to the point of paying motherfuckers for what happened mm -hmm. and be yep. done with it. Facts. I'm with you. I'm with you on that one. Samantha, what you got, Samantha? You got anything, any final, final thoughts? Um, no, not really. Like, everybody says the same BS. Like, you can tell these people don't really research Mm -hmm. reparations before they talk about it because they don't care about black people but they like, coordinate what, their responses though they coordinate I'm telling like, you, like a month yeah so mm -hmm. it's all the same like y'all people bore me you really do it's so unoriginal i'm tired of looking at this this white i'm tired of looking at upper white you know middle class borderline wealthy white people tell us poors what we're gonna do that's why we're blowing up this spot Man, really? So, mm -hmm. um, man. Yeah, so we're blowing today's spot, and we're further left than most of you motherfuckers. So stop talking shit. All right, John, what you got, man? Final thoughts? Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah you're right. It's the same old bullshit, but mm -hmm. somebody got to be here for this shit to check this shit. They've been doing this shit for too long, so long that the shit been really echo. It's an echo chamber on the left. You know what I'm saying? I think yeah, that you're just trying to, you know, trying to bring a like, yo. Mm -hmm. Nah, we, it's Negroes that really know what the fuck going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know what the fuck going on out here. I can't mm -hmm. play it. Yeah, no but they more. shut us out. They shut out the Negroes yeah. that know what the fuck is going on. Well, and we let them, we, now we, we like, we, are y'all shutting this out? All right. I ain't never going to win nothing ever that's, again. That's like, why we're going to burn the fuck down. That's it. That's where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I feel like it's like 
it's a hearts and minds game, right? So y'all keep sitting here lying to these white people and I got to mm. keep trying to break them out the matrix because y'all leading them to a path that leads to nowhere. Mm-hmm. These are facts. These are facts. All right. Anybody All right. else got anything for this or can we close this one up? Let's close this one up. All right. All right. This has been Actify Press, another episode of Actify Press. Thanks for stopping by. Please share, like, subscribe, and share. He still didn't subscribe. catch that he said that shit. What's that? Nigga, you said Actify Press. Get your life. Oh shit, my bad. This has been <laughs> this has I'll, been I'll re- it. You didn't even catch it. Hey, stop picking on me. This has been reset race. This has been reset race. Stop picking on me. You know I'm old. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for uh, listening to us. Thanks for listening to us talk shit. Please like, subscribe, and share. And that's it. We'll see you on and the next one. And cry in the comments like you normally do. Yeah. Talk bad about us in the comments. I like that. And y'all be telling on yourselves too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. That's it. Bye. Deuces. All right, that's it for tonight, right? Because we've yeah, been over three hours. I, we did three. That's I feel like that is plentiful for a Sunday evening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more Word. than enough. Mm-hmm. That's three episodes in one night. Shit, that's good shit right there, especially with all that shit we got stockpiled. That goddamn MG dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a content hoarder. <laughs> I'm trying to make hey, sure y'all get a episode. vacation. <laughs> hey, when the ep- what's, what's the next episode we driving on? What, like, what we, uh, that's uh, a, a part three of uh, of I Latinos, mean, and then Sam suggested that we we drop that in the afternoon, and in the evening we drop what was that? Bree 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 because it's timely. Yeah, because uh, if because if we wait too much longer, it'll be like, what's the point of dropping it? Yeah, and yeah. we've been holding on. We've been, and we do Iron Me Saturday because we've been holding on to that one for a while. Should just drop Iron Me on Thursday. Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah. Last Saturday was cool though. We had no. It was Friday. Friday was the day that the chat was popping. So I think yeah, the chat was popping. Think, but but uh, YouTube fucked us on that one. Fuck uh, yeah, they did. No lies. I was like, I'm like, yo, you like yo, the show dropped. Yeah, he's like, MG on some shit. Like, please share. I put the. I should say white rice. I'm like, oh, <laughs> 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 like, we were white rice. I was like, oh, we rolling. I don't give a fuck. Like, I like this. That shit should say white rice. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Like, that shit was easy to call. What it is, shit, yeah, baby. Yeah. They be calling our peaceful protest riots. Mm, so yo, fuck them. Yeah, like these fucking storm the fucking capital. Fuck mm-hmm. these crackers. Yeah, they fuck sure fuck. did. They sure did. Yeah, and then nobody say shit. Too. Word up. That shit, he was going, yo, know, Sam, Mud, y'all niggas, he was going in on them crackers, like, and them niggas really tried to block us, like, like, it like, like, it's just the energy that, you know what I mean? Like, just like all, but like, NGU wasn't there, so I was kind of missing this shit a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, what NG? Nobody missed me, man. Nobody missed me. Yes, they do. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Nigga, I was mad at Sam. Like, the real shit, like, hey, like, that's why you see me in Like, I'm like, the sequel, nigga, it's coming soon. You know, they go in the White House soon. You're going to be on that episode. Hey. That whole five hour episode, you ain't going to sleep, MG. Go <laughs> with us, nigga. Hey, I got you. I got you. Hey, so wait a minute. Now. Then you're going to be up, nigga. Where I'm looking at I'm looking at Mud's uh, left out of black politics thing. He got twelve likes already. What the fuck, man? We got we, we got a couple of dislikes too. Uh, <laughs> Mud to yo, piss some get, people yo, off. Yo, let me get off this shit so I can watch a bit of those TV. I ain't watch a bit of yeah, those TV. Facts. These are facts. Like, I mean, this this is old. Episode. It's the old episode. It's that Jared Ball episode. Oh, I'm still gonna watch it again, man. Fuck it. Uh, oh, right, somebody man. said Jared Ball is awesome in the comments. Oh no! Oh, is, is, is the live chat going? It yeah, let's just going. Oh, all right, let me, yeah, all right, let me we need to there. get in there. Yeah, we 24 minutes late, but we need to get in there. I'm gonna yeah, get in there and hang out with my wife at the same time. Hopefully, she won't call me out. Love y'all. <laughs> y'all be good. All right, all right, all right good night, everybody. Good Bye. Good night. All right, peace. Mud, I'll send this over when it's ready. Okay. Listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Uh, uh, you're listening to Reset Race, you now tuned in to Reset Race. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Put them back on the grill again, we grilling them. Back on the grill again, we grilling them. Uh, you're listening to Reset.
race that race. Adults need reparations to make America make great. America uh, great. Get tuned in the reset race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to reset race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you tuned in the reset race. You find out who really dealt justice and really who fake. On the edge, go back to U.S. Southern plantations. Pennies, Jim Crow, and mass incarceration. Redlining lynchings, we are old from this nation. You're not about justice if you ain't for reparations. MG, the wise one, cousin mother intellectual. Samantha bringing fire, anti black, we pressing you. No permanent friends and no permanent enemies. The backbone of the country, the wind, you need our energy. Go on, see. Listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, uh. You're listening to reset race. You now tuned in the reset race. Uh, put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Put them back on the grill again. We grilling them. Back on the grill again. We grilling them. Uh. You're listening to reset race. Adults need reparations to make America great. Uh, you're tuned in the reset race. We no longer starving while others eat off our plate. No. You're listening to reset race. We focused on our justice claim. We know what is at stake. Uh, you tuned in the reset race. You find out who really about justice and really who fake. Uh. Until you do right by me, everything you think about is going to crumble. Don't 